Hi guys, welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for always coming out here. May God bless you all. Everywhere has again called out the Southeast governors concerning Mazenam the Kano's continued detention. They said, see, the way you guys are playing this game is really very, very unfair. If you say you are trying your best, that means your best is not good enough. All of you cannot, you know, keep on preparing for 2023 general election. Why Mazenam the Kano is still in DSS custody? You have to do something. Ask the Nigerian government to release Mazen Namdekano because they have to release him. They have to obey the, the orders of the court that discharged the IPOB leader. But the way you people are really dragging back in this, it does not tell good about you know, the, the Southeast leaders. The Human Rights Writers Association of Nigeria, Uriwa, also asked President Muhammad Buhari to free the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Namdekano, as a 2022 Christmas gift to the Southeast. Hello guys, welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for always coming out here. If you are here for the first time, please do not forget to subscribe to this channel. Thank you very much for always stopping by. May God bless you all. Now, talking about the, the Southeast governors, Talking about the, the, the Southeast leaders consigning, you know, this, the, this issue of agitations and agitators in the Southeast region, they know they try. Before their eyes, Nigerian army, they kill their people. These are the leaders of tomorrow. Maybe because their children are not, are not, are, are not the victims of all these killings. That is why they are looking at it like in no matter. This is really very bad. You can't even count how many Southeasterners. I'm talking about young Southeasterners that, in, in, that, that, that is in uh, all these uh, secret uh, you know, prisons in Nigeria. Whether they are iPod agitators or, or iPod sympathizers. The government is just taking advantage of that. Arresting people even those the the family members don't even hear anything about them in this the cinema and the, the, their leaders are doing nothing about it their leaders are doing nothing about it the other day they 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 came out they said they they want the nigerian government to adopt political solution we are even talking about somebody that the courts have you know discharged and I quit it. Then they are not saying about political solution. Even the political solution, when I don't hear about them again. So I like this calling out. So that they will know that they are not really doing well. They are not doing well. If they feel they are doing well, that means if what they are doing right now is their best, that means their best is not good enough. They have to put more pressure on the, the federal government of Nigeria so that Nam the Kano, you know, uh, uh, can be released. If it's not released, they themselves should be worried about the 2023 general election in the Southeast region because it's not going to be palatable to, to them. That is even the reason why they should be asking for his release. Anyway, guys, let's hit the news and get the full details. The Human Rights Writers Association of Nigeria yesterday called out the Southeast governors. They said, the, the group expressed disappointment at uh, the nonchalant attitude of Southeast governors who they believe should be mounting pressure on Buhari to do the right thing by releasing Inamde Kano from detention. I recall that Buhari in May at a meeting with Eboin State Stakeholders Forum held at the government house at Bakeleke said a political solution to Niger uh, Kano's trivial was impossible and insisted it is only the court that would decide his fate. Now the court have decided his fate. The, the same govern, government that says this, the same president that said it, is still pursuing the, the high public leader. This is, even the, this is even the reason why the Southeast uh, leader should hold President Mamadou Buhari because he said it. 
How can you say something and doing the opposite? You have already said that, no, I don't want to interfere. I don't want to release him. You people are asking me to release him. No, I will release him. Let the court decide his fate. Because he was thinking that, you know, the court, the court will jail him. The court will sentence him. But God does not work like that. In the first place, the, the, the government committed a crime by extraditing Mazin Namdekan without due processes from Kenya to Nigeria with torture. These people have been planning how to arrest somebody or adopt somebody from abroad since 2017. Why we have bandits in our backyard? They cannot take care of those people. You understand? You are wasting resources to adopt one person who you feel that is your enemy back to Nigeria. But you have bandits who are killing your people, who have displaced millions of your people, who have caused havoc in your area. You cannot, you cannot bring these people down to your enemy. Don't you think something is wrong? Record that Bwari had promised. He said, how we listen carefully to our appeal, it's okay, I've listened carefully to appeals from elders to traditional leaders regarding a wide range of options. And as I have said previously, this matter remains in full preview of the court where it will be properly, you know, decided. However, about 18 months since his detention at the DSS custody in Abuja, the IPOB leader has not tasted freedom despite the judgment of the IP court granting him freedom and awarding billions of naira as damages against the federal government for extraordinary rendition from Kenya. I'm dropping it here, guys. Kindly share your thoughts.